Hello. Hey, Chris. It's Alec. Hello, How are Alec. you? Um, How are you? Okay. You're good. I'm doing okay. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, just calling to, to see how things are going with, um, well, I know that Evan uh, went forward with uh, freezing the Quikipedia on you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what, are you, what are you thinking about that? What am I thinking about that? I can't edit, it. I can't edit squat. Well. And I was going to answer some more mailbag letters. Well, so I finally um, got my PC back and running after a weekend, and I haven't yet after a power fa- after a power failure. Well, you know, um, I think the the thing here is you you did kind of drop the ball on getting um, the pages up, you know, as quick as possible. Well, I am gonna get the pages up, and Simona will be Simona will be killed. Um. Well, that's good. I'm just, you know, Evan, he got kind of impatient because he was waiting a long time for this. I I talked to him about it, but he's, you know, he wasn't keen to move on it. He just wanted to. Do you have them finished? The the Simona death page and the apology page? And I'll and I'll have them I'll have them upload Either tomorrow or Wednesday, whenever the thing is unfrozen. Um, I think Evan wants you to show them to him first, just to make sure they're good. <sighs> well, you know, can you blame him? He just wants to see the product before he unfreezes the site. Because if it's not what he wants, then he's going to refreeze the site, and that's a you know that's a hassle for him. He's yeah. got to make sure you're good on his you're good on your word. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll I'll send them to him. I'll I'll send them sent to him tomorrow. All right. Well, you know, that's that's between you and Evan. I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm just not satisfied with your apology video, and I don't think I'll be asking you to make another. Because it's it's become apparent to me that I don't think you really even understand what you did wrong. Because that video, well, first of all, you know, the call last time, you were just aching to get off the phone with me. You were just, you know, trying to hurry the call along. And then the video, you just read off a list. It was rather apparent that you didn't put any thought into why I wanted you to say those things at all. And that was really the point, Chris. It wasn't about getting you to read things off a list. It was about getting I mean, to... Yeah, actually, yeah, I, sure I did I sure I get the point behind everything. Yeah, there was even less emotion in your voice in that video than there is normally when you apologize for something. I mean, I've seen apology videos you've made before, and they're all pretty lackluster, but this one was just a, like a slap in the face. You didn't say Sonichu was a failing franchise, either. You know, that was part of my list. Sonichu can't make money. And you said you would say it, but you didn't. You know, you weren't actually sorry. You said those things that I asked you to say because you thought that reading them off a list would get my ads off of your site. I took my ads off your site for the moment just because I don't really want Aspertu associated with your perennial legal troubles. But, you know, if you do get Wikipedia back up, um, then my ads are going back because I'm not satisfied. That's if you get it up, Chris, because as far as I can tell, you don't really even care about Sonichu that much. Oh, well, yes, I do. Well, I have to see if it's in the pages. Chris, I warned you numerous times over the past several weeks that uh, you know someone was targeting you for a lawsuit over problems you were you know you were causing with Sonichu and you know if, if I was warned that someone was targeting me for a lawsuit and they had grounds to sue me I would deal with it right away I would drop what I was doing I mean you had time Chris you had all the time in the world 
Doesn't that seem reasonable to you? You don't go to school. You don't have a job. You know, I asked you, um, you know, what your day was like last time I talked to you. And you said that, you know, you, you were sleeping until 11 in the morning. I mean, 11, Chris? That, that's ridiculous. I would kill to be able to, you know, sleep in all day. I have to get up early every day because I have things that I need to do. I mean, you could have slept until 10 instead and then used the extra hour to make the apology page and or make an apology video or both. I mean, I don't understand what this whole biological clock thing is that you, you keep falling back on. Are you even listening to me right now? You weren't listening last time. I think you, you said in... You know what? Look it up on Wikipedia. Look up what? Biological, biological clock. Biological no, clock is a, a phrase that women usually use to refer to their um, most fertile reproductive years. I really have no reason, no no understanding of you know why you would apply that to yourself. It 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 reference to the sleeping schedule. You know, I don't have problems with sleeping. You know, any any sleeping schedule. I think maybe I think you know what happens with a lot of people when they have absolutely nothing to do with their days that's when their sleep schedule gets messed up. See, I have a routine. I have to go to work and I have to go to school and I work on my comic because I care about my comic. You don't have a job or school and you don't care about your comic, therefore your body... I actually do, kind of, I actually do care about my stuff. I your actions say comic. otherwise. You know, you don't upload any pages. How many times have I told you you have to start uploading pages? Not just when I wanted you to make the apology page. I just mean in general. But you don't. You didn't listen. Well, I have been working on the pages, and I will be uploading them as soon as the thing gets unfrozen. And I had to go through my school without PC the past weekend because I was on a power failure. A power failure? Like the power was yeah. knocked out all weekend? That doesn't stop you from trying. It was actually knocked out. It was actually not that for about 40 minutes, but then it took me a lot longer for me to get my computer back up and running. Um, I have blackouts on occasion, and my computer shuts off, and then when the power comes on, I just press the power button, and my computer comes back up in a minute. You know, for me, it came, it, it came, I tried powering back on, and then, and then the farthest it had gotten was uh, just the introductory HP Pavilion's blue screen. And so, then it would go into looking like one of those color bars where the station's not broadcasting. So what you're saying is um, you don't take care of the equipment that you need to do your comic. I admit I need a new computer. Why can't you buy one? Just, you know, I've seen, I can't afford I've seen one right now. I've seen, you know, videos of you in your room. You've got a fancy, you've got like a 40-inch HD TV in there. You've got your PlayStation 3. You've got like a wall full of video games. But you can't afford a, a basic computer. Like, you know, nothing fancy costs maybe a couple hundred bucks. I could go buy myself 10 new computers right now if I wanted good computers because, you know, I wouldn't do it because, you know, I saved my money. But the fact that I'm capable, you know, is proof of that. How many video games do you own that you don't play, Chris? I played all my games in within my lifetime. Do you how many game how how many of them do you currently play? I've played a lot of games in my lifetime, but I own very few right now because as soon as I'm done with them, I usually sell them. You sure have a lot of time on your hands, Chris, to play all those games, for that matter. Because I, I, I've never come close to owning as many games as you have. Chris, how many uh, hours a week do you spend on video games right now? 
don't know, I'd say about 